But I begin to back up with just the yes. first few notes. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, where, where do you want to pick it up from? Sorry, more I, well, I'll just say one bar before the... the it feels so amazing to be back performing. I mean, as a singer, um, we thrive off other singers and our pianists and orchestras. And um, there's only a certain amount of practice you can do at home in your kitchen. So um, just having a musical partner, again, is, it's just so fulfilling and satisfying. And I think everyone will agree that you couldn't ask for a more world-class musical partner than Malcolm Pride. So this, yeah, it's just been absolutely brilliant. I suggested to Sharon that we should do two arias which need obligato organ. Um, Bach wrote them for an organ um, and um, contralto or alto voice and um, I have put between them um, a chorale prelude which is suitable for just one, one manual organ. You don't need pedals. It's based on the chorale Alain Gott and the Hosei Air Glory to God in the Highest, which is the Lutheran version of the um, original Gloria. And what's wonderful about both of the cantatas is that they have what's called an obligato, so it's an obligatory instrument that must be in there as, as also as a soloist, so the organ is the obligato instrument. There's, there's beautiful florid lines in, in one of the areas for him. They're also very appropriate at the moment because they're very full of hope and uh, that's a really important thing at the moment.
Um, this instrument was built by um, a, organ, a Dutch organ builder who lives near Utrecht, the Klopp. In fact, it's a family firm and successive generations have continued building not only organs, but also harpsichords. But they have specialized over the years in building these little chamber organs, which many um, orchestras, Brock groups throughout the world use. And I'm very happy with it. In my own particular instrument just has two sets of pipes, two stops, an eight foot um, stopped um, and a uh, four foot principal. It's different, but it's still an organ. So it has, it's, has lungs, if you like, and um, it's the cl I always feel the organ is the closest instrument to the choir because um, it has voices and pipes, windpipes, and, and of course the lungs, the, the bellows, which nowadays are run by um, electricity, a little electric motor. Of course, in Bach's day, he would have had to find somebody to pump it.
Well, it's always a, um, a joy to um, accompany Sharon Carty. Um, she's wonderful, has a wonderful voice and very nice person to work with. This space is, as a sacred space, perfect for the sacred music and there's such a wonderful supportive acoustic in here as well and I'm, I feel very lucky to have performed a lot um, in Kilkenny so I know the building and I know how it interacts with my voice. The acoustic in which you sing is as important an element of it as, as any of the other things about you know preparation and um, accompaniments and all that kind of stuff so yeah so this, this building is a really good partner.